Good day, my name is Kim and I'm a dermoscopist at New Zealand Skin Health. As a dermoscopist, I work with identifying melanoma and other skin cancers. I'm going to run you through some of the basics on skin cancer prevention and detection. This is Bob Marley and I'm sure a lot of people will recognise his face. Um, what a lot of people don't realise though is that Bob Marley actually died from a melanoma. It was on his foot and unfortunately it was detected late. The reality is that anybody can suffer from a melanoma and so it's really important that you get your skin checked regularly. Unfortunately, New Zealand has the highest skin cancer rate in the world. One in three New Zealanders will develop a skin cancer and one in 17 will develop a melanoma. So let's have a look at what causes skin cancers. We all know that skin cancer is caused by the sun's UV radiation, and this is because it damages the DNA of the skin cells. Skin cancers, especially melanomas, have been linked to severe sunburn, especially during those early years. And in the case of other skin cancers, like basal and squamous cell skin cancers, they are linked to excessive prolonged sun exposure over many years. So the sun causes uh, two main types of skin cancers. Uh, number one is the melanoma skin cancer and number two would be the non-melanoma skin cancers and these we also name as basal cell skin cancers and squamous cell skin cancers. So let's have a look at the risk factors for skin cancer and melanoma but remember anybody can develop a melanoma. Um, so top of the list we have fair skin um, also, if you're a person that's had many sunburns or high exposure to the sun, for example, people that work outdoors every day, that does give you higher sun exposure and would increase your risk of developing skin cancers. Red hair, um, high number of moles, so if you're a person that has a lot of moles on your body. If you've had a previous history of melanoma or if there is a family history of melanoma, this would also increase your chances of having a melanoma. Um, if you use sunbeds in your, in, at any time in your life, and also um, your age has a, has a factor. So of all the skin cancers, melanomas are the most aggressive, and if they're not found in the early stages, they can be life-threatening. They can spread to other parts of the body, such as the brain, the lungs, or the liver, and this is why it is so important that you have regular skin checks. Early detection can save your life. So, how do we detect skin cancer? We use an instrument which is called a dermatoscope. A dermatoscope has specialized light and magnification, and it helps us to see lesions that are below the surface of the skin. This is an example of what we can see with the naked eye versus what we can see with the dermatoscope. You can see with the dermatoscope there is a lot more detail in there and we can see features such as little dots and we can also see features that the edges look very rough and untidy and these give us clues as to what sort of uh, lesion these are. Regular skin checks are a vital part of detecting skin cancers. This is what you can expect during a full skin check. First of all, you will be asked to remove your clothing. You will be able to keep your underwear on and a, a gown will be provided for your modesty. A full skin check will be conducted from your head down to your toes and anything suspicious will be recorded onto our software program called Derm Engine. You will receive a report with recommendations and treatment from one of our specialists. So what can we do to protect our skins from the sun? Well, as Kiwis, I think we all know that the importance of using sunscreen. So it's the good old slip, slop, slap, seek and slide. Um, slip on some clothing. It's important, especially for people that work outdoors, um, that you use your safety gear, that you wear your long sleeved clothing and um, long trousers as well, just to protect your skin. Slop on some, some sunblock, um, SPF 30, but we do prefer a 50. Uh, slap on your hat. Uh, to protect your face and your ears and your neck from the sun. 
Um, seek shade, obviously, if there's a tree around, if you can possibly sit under a tree, um, that makes uh, good sense as well. And of course, slide on your sunglasses to protect your eyes. Melanomas can occur at the back of the eye as well. So here are some points to look for when choosing a sunscreen. First of all, make sure that it is a broad spectrum sunscreen so that it actually covers both the UVA rays as well as the UVB rays. Um, make sure that at the very minimum it has an SPF of 30 and a 50 is uh, better. We do prefer a 50. Uh, make sure that it is water resistant. Um, apply regularly and liberally. So um, when we say regularly, what we mean is at least every two hours. And obviously if you're swimming as well, uh, make sure that you put it on straight after your swim. Um, use whatever product you want to use and whatever suits your skin and also suits your wallet as well, as long as it's working. Um, make sure that it does um, adhere to the, the Australian New Zealand uh, standard and also um, make sure that it um, is within the use by date. So why choose New Zealand Skin Health to have your skin checked? First of all, we have an experienced medical team. We have state-of-the-art imaging um, and we use Derm Engine as our software. We conduct workplace skin checks throughout the country and we provide a full service of treatment and that includes surgery. Please contact us if you need any further information. And thank you for listening from all of us at the team of New Zealand Skin Health.